Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on user registration template. So last video we made here user registration class in form and then we made here this function and imported these all and we also imported our that class we made in form and then we created here one customer directory inside the template then we created this register.html file. So now we are going to render this template first of all we have to make now route that will be here app dot route and here the route name will be register I will give it name of customer register register and then here methods will be equal to get and post and then we will we will get that form here equal to customer registration form and request dot form and then here we will pass this form variable equal to form and our job from here is done now come to here in register.html and this template is empty so what we have to do first of all we have to extend our base.html this will be extends and here will be base.html and then we will get that block content this one here will be block content and then we have to end that block content and the next we have to import this form helper you can see here this form helper we have to import here then we will render this fields and this one will be from and then name of this file underscore form helpers dot html and then here import render underscore field and then here I will create one bootstrap class of container and this will be container and inside the container I will create one class of row and this row I will create here three call dot call md2 and this will be three of them and now I will just change this to eight and inside this one here I will just write h1 and here I will give it a class of bg info and text dash center register and after this row I will create one form with method of post and inside this form I will create one row and this row will have four columns this will be call md4 and this will be four of them first I will let them two and next one will be also two inside this td here I will render that form and this will be render fields and here will be just see what and then form dot name and I will just come here and paste this one four time here is username email password confirm password this will be username email password and this will be confirm now we have this one let's check if it's working or not I will just come to here simply copy this route and come here to paste it here to check how it's working this uh, register page not found so we have to register this route and come here in init and from from shop dot customers import 
routes. So now this route is registered. Now let's see. Okay. So now it's showing this template is not found because of spelling mistake here. We have to come here in route and this will be u template not font base dot html. I guess this name is not base. Maybe this name is come to here register. This name is layout layout dot html. And now you can see we got these names. Then I will just copy these four and put them here. And if we check here, we have here confirm after after country, then state, then city, then contact. This name will be country. This will be state. Then contact then that city and here this one will be city contact and this one is address and uh, after address we have here zip code then I'll just write here render fields and this will be Phone dot zip code. Now let's see how this zip code. Oh, so I will just copy and paste it here. Okay. So now you can see here we have more and here we have less. What I can do, I will remove this state or you can remove city or state whatever so i just want to make them equal and then what i will do here profile and this will be form dot profile because we don't need here this label and this is for the labels header field we don't need the label so we just do it like this only profile and then here i will do that form dot submit and now let's see and here so now you can see these are still not looking good so what can i do i will give them bootstrap classes to make them look better so come here and like this then class and this class will be form control And I will just copy this and paste it here again. I will paste it here and here and here. And form control will need this space and also this one. Why this? Do not have this. Okay. So, so now it is looking good. I will just come here give it one class and this class for this one will be btn btn sm btn info also let's see now so now you can see these things very fine and looking good and this will be float right and now i guess now it's good and here is image and here for the registration. That's all for this video. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Take care. Bye-bye.